Good morning, I am Karina, and today I want to show you how we took our 1960s small Southern California home and completely kept but refinished and remodeled our kitchen cabinets to upgrade. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, Karina here wanted to take you through one quick last minute tour if you will to see the kitchen before it's done so as you can see behind me a lot of the cabinets are already off of the cabinetry itself there's a couple here this is the pantry so of course we didn't want this to be like a free-for-all with the kids um so we left those on we're gonna take those off um we're gonna paint everything inside that we can we are then going to strip the few cabinets that are left outside that have yet to be stripped in order to then prime and paint everything uh we'll take off obviously these drawers here and the rest of the uh cabinetry up here that needs to be done so I'm excited. This is a long time in the making for the kitchen. When we first um, moved into the house, the cabinetry had been painted like multiple times over and over and over. So it's been a process to try to strip all that down uh, rather than just add another layer of paint on top of it. We felt like it was beneficial to strip it down. It wouldn't be as clumpy. It wouldn't be as thick and then give us an opportunity to essentially start from scratch. So over the weekend, we are gonna finish bringing all this down. I'm gonna be cleaning off some of the cabinets because the ones that have been living in here, of course, are a little grimy just from the standard day-to-day -day kitchen operations as well as having three young children. So I hope you guys enjoy watching and being with us through this process and even more so, I am so excited for the end result and I cannot wait to show you guys. All right, everybody, I am a mess. The kitchen is a mess but we are prepped and we are ready to prime and to paint tomorrow. So, well, sand too, I guess we do have to sand a little bit, but as you can see, we had to pull some stuff out of the cupboards. Every single cupboard now is open, including that crazy pantry, but I'm excited. We are tired. We are ready to get a good night's sleep so that tomorrow we can do some damage. So I'm in the middle of painting, almost done. Well, a little more than halfway done with the kitchen portion, not the cabinets. Um, but one thing that you may not, or may you may or may not have noticed while I was painting is something that I do a little bit differently um, than most painters, if you will. My entire adult life and even high school, if you will, whenever I painted, I always used painter's tape. And it never failed that there was always one spot where it didn't get stuck correctly against the stucco or the grout or the textured walls or whatever the case may be and it would drive me nuts that it wasn't a clean line and then I felt like I would go back and try to touch it up. So you'll notice that I haven't used, aside from very small spaces because I couldn't even get my hand in there, let alone a perfect technique. So I did like around the microwave, but I don't, you see my hands? I got as much paint on myself as I did the house. <laughs> <laughs> my clothes are just, uh, 
anyways um i don't use painter's tape so all i have to say is trust yourself now granted i've been doing my own gels for eight years so both of my hands work really well steadily and with paint so i do have that advantage however i would tell you to trust yourself and don't use painter's tape like i'm gonna show you guys how i just run the brush it's not that hard and at the end of the day I think it just makes less of a mess. You're obviously not even buying the painter's tape. We happen to have this one and it makes cleaner lines than if you did. So I got a little paint on my brush. Always make sure you have enough paint on your brush. If the less paint you have, the harder it is. More paint, better. Get it into the spot that you want and then just glide away. So like I said, I use either hand. It really just depends um, at the angle that I'm at, but I get my brush in the space that I want and I literally, just brush and you keep it steady now granted you have to go kind of slow and you might think like oh man this is taking her forever because she's having to be so meticulous and perfect and whatever but honestly think about it how long did it take you to paint the tape the entire kitchen did all the tape stick did it start lifting before you got back to it like at the end of the day this is a perfect line let's see if i can move you guys over here you can see inside there it's a perfect line. So um, I use an angled brush. This is like one of the pro ones. It's like $10, $13 from Home Depot. Looks like it's Wooster Pro. Any angled good brush is going to work. Like obviously don't get the 99 cent brush, but if you get a good brush, trust yourself. I am telling you it's worth while. So stick with this. We're almost done. <laughs> adulting I don't know what is but the kitchen cabinets are finally done it was a process it took a while but I want to show you guys how it turned out and tell you what the process was so it cost us about $400 after paint and the most expensive thing was hardware we did have to buy some stripping chemicals if you will in order to take off the old paint the old paint on these cabinets had about four layers of paint and so there was no way that we could just simply paint on top of them the hardware was no longer fitting right and it had just been a mess if you've seen any of my previous videos you used to see open cabinets behind me all the time because they had all been taken off but it was a really long process getting it back I've been wanting to do this for about six years, uh, but as you can see, it's finally done. I'm so excited because now in the back of all the videos, you will see cabinetry. We went with gray when we did it. We decided that we wanted a color versus just white because um, the white just gets messy with the kids, you know? And so we went with this gray color. It did make the kitchen a little bit dark. And so thankfully we still have other lighting sources in order to compensate for that. But I went with just some standard black hardware as well as some black hinges here. It took about a week and a half, almost 
but even with putting on the hardware it was almost three weeks because like i said we had to strip the old paint that in itself was the hardest part the most tedious part and that took about four days in itself just to strip the old paint then we had to sand it down and get ready for the primer so the primer of course we had to do the inside and the outside right so we had to flip the cabinets and so we had to let them dry appropriately in between painting so that's what took a little bit of time but at the end of the day it took us that three weeks. We painted the inside first, painted the cabinets, waited for them to cure for about a week before we put on any of the hardware so that in the event that we want to change this hardware, we don't rip off the paint in doing so. But I'm just, I'm thrilled. Like I couldn't be happier with how it looks. I just feel like it makes the entire kitchen come together but I just, I love it. And so I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you enjoyed the process. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We will continue posting videos of different home organization as well as home upgrading that we'll be doing. We're going to be making some changes into the living room as well as the bedroom as the kids rooms are already done. So I'm excited to keep doing that. Come back so you can see those videos. I always appreciate you watching. Love you guys and we will see you next time.